Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. Today I'm going to be doing a wrap-up. So this is my first wrap-up on this channel, and it is my February wrap-up. So in the month of February, I read a total of six books. Four of the books were for the February Fantasy Stories event, and then the other two books, one was a biography, and the other one was a book on ancient history. So for the month of February, I took part in February Fantasy Stories, and this was an event hosted by the Bookish Bryants, and it was a fun event. I really enjoyed it. I don't typically read a lot of fantasy, and I decided I was going to take part in this because I wanted to see what it was like. I hadn't read fantasy for decades. So for the first three weeks of February Fantasy Stories, I read the Kothar series. So I read Kothar, the Barbarian Swordsman, Kothar of the Magic Sword, and finally, Kothar and the Demon Queen. And these were all very short books. The first one was 115 pages. The second one, I think, was 180 pages. And the third was 165 pages. Now, the first two books were not very good. They were, um, they were shallow. So the characters themselves were very one-dimensional. And it was a hack-and-slash kind of book. The third one was also a hack-and-slash kind of book but the main villain had a lot more character to her. So you really got a sense of her motives. You got her backstory. You, you had character development with the third novel. All in all though, Kothar, the Barbarian, uh, the series was very good. I did enjoy that. Uh, there are five books in the Kothar series. I don't think I'll be picking up books four and five anytime soon, but February fantasy stories, those were some good reads. For the fourth week of February fantasy stories, we were to read an urban fantasy novel. And I could not find anything that I enjoyed. So I ended up reading something that I had read a couple of years ago. And that book was Gil's All Fright Diner by A. Lee Martinez. Now, this is a funny book. I mean, I really enjoyed this. So the premise of this book is that Gil is the owner of a restaurant, a diner in the middle of nowhere, and he's disappeared. So Loretta has taken over and Loretta is now the proprietor that, uh, you know, runs the diner. And she's been faced with a plague of zombies. So for whatever reason, zombies are attacking her diner and she's gotten very used to it. And it's her job just to blow their brains out. One night, Duke and Earl, so Duke is a werewolf and Earl is a vampire and they're driving over along in their pickup truck where they and they stop by the diner you know to grab a bite to eat not from Loretta of course just you know food Earl doesn't eat food he only drinks blood but uh, he had already eaten but Duke the werewolf you know he felt like having some burgers and fries so they get there and there are more zombies and Duke and Earl help out and Loretta offers them a job and Seeing as how they have no money and their tank is almost empty, they accept the job. And a whole slew of funny happens after that. The main villain in this book, her name is Tammy. She is a 17-year-old who wants to become a goddess. And she is referred to as Mistress Lilith. That's how she likes to be referred to in the novel. And she is very funny. And her boyfriend slash, I don't know, helper... Uh, he's like an Igor, but he's like a football jock. Um, Chad is very much in love with her. And the stuff that goes on in this book is hilarious between the two. All in all, Gil's All Fright Diner was a very good read. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it. But if you're looking for a very funny urban fantasy, then this is definitely a book for you. So outside of February Fantasy Stories, I read a biography and a book on ancient history. So the book on ancient history was, let me just pull it up for you. Brotherhood of Kings, How International Relations Shaped the Ancient Near East. And this was by Amanda Podany. And this was a very good book. This book talked about diplomacy from 2300 BC to 1300 BC. And that is not easy. So Amanda Potany did a great job putting all the information together and giving you a coherent story over a thousand year period. And like I said, I did a video of this prior to uh, this video. 
I mentioned how it's not easy for historians to take all of the pieces of information and put those together and connect the dots to come up with something that's coherent and makes sense. So hats off to them, hats off to Podany for writing such a good book. This was actually a very good book. It talked about trade and how diplomacy affected trade. It talked about war, how diplomacy averted war. Uh, there were multiple examples. Uh, one was the Egyptians, Tutmos the uh, first, had invaded the southern parts of Mitanni, so the area of the Levant, and uh, he just took what he wanted. And the king of Mitanni at the time, instead of retaliating and fighting Egypt, decided to use diplomacy. So he sent emissaries to Egypt to smooth things out. And it actually worked. I mean, Tutmos the first was receptive to the emissaries that were sent by the king of Mitanni, and they developed a treaty and eventually developed a brotherhood. And this was a very good book. So I really enjoyed this book. Uh, I talked about the extensive trade, not just in the Near East, uh, not just around Mesopotamia and Egypt, but all the way to the Indus Valley and to Indonesia. When they're excavating a Syrian farmhouse, they actually found preserved cloves. And these cloves were only available. You could only obtain them in Indonesia. So the extent of trade was amazing. I was really impressed and I really did enjoy this book. The last book I'm going to talk about for this wrap up is The Science of Leonardo, Inside the Mind of the Great Genius of the Renaissance by Fritjof Capra. And this was a biography of Leonardo da Vinci, and it was very well done. Fair warning, uh, Fritjof Capra is very pro Leonardo da Vinci. So if you're looking for an objective book on Leonardo, this is not the book for you. However, if you're looking for a good read, a good biography on Leonardo, you definitely want to check this book out. So this book is broken up into two parts. And the first part is Leonardo the Man. So it talked about his early life, um, his move to Florence, and his development as an artist, as a sculptor, as a Warcraft engineer. And his life throughout Florence to Milan, to back to Florence, to Rome, to France... And it was a wonderful read. I really enjoyed that part. And then the second part was Leonardo the Scientist. So this is where Fritjof Capra delved into Leonardo's notebooks and talked about all of the discoveries that Leonardo had made. And it was great. I mean, Fritjof Capra was talking about um, Leonardo's study of the flight of birds and the flow of water, as well as um, his study of anatomy. It was a very good read. I did enjoy it. There were some parts of this book where I think Kaprov went too far. I mean, in one instance, he was saying that Leonardo discovered the uh, wave properties of light. I'm not going to give it to Leonardo on that one. No, I don't think so. But other than that, other than those little things where I think Kaprov took the book too far, he did do a good job writing about Leonardo. And you really enjoyed this book. I mean, I could... I could see Leonardo walking down the cobbled streets of Florence or the cobbled streets of Milan and, you know, interacting with people. This was a very good book. I did enjoy it. So this was a very good reading month for me. I read six books in total for about 1,300 pages. And all in all, I enjoyed each book that I read. There were no disappointments. The funniest book that I read was Gil's All Freight Diner. And the most profound book that I read was The Brotherhood of Kings by Amanda Podany. So that is it for my wrap up. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Fred and you're watching Read by Fred. And the ebooks that I read were Kothar of the Barbarian Sword. Kothar of the Barbarian Sword. He was very well written and you really had a good grasp of that story. <laughs> Two.